Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. China is the world's largest semiconductor consumer market. A large number of chips are sold to China every year. At the same time, foreign chip giants will also look to China to buy chip raw materials and other materials. Therefore, China is an important participant in the global semiconductor supply chain, but due to the existence of U.S. chip rules, it has affected many people's business. Just like most U.S. companies are faced with plummeting revenue and profits, they are caught in a wave of layoffs. American companies can no longer withstand the pressure of Biden's chip ban, and they are trying to bypass the chip ban and begging China to buy chips. China has a population of 1.4 billion, and its annual chip imports exceed 300 billion US dollars. More than 30% of the revenue of giants such as Qualcomm, Nvidia, and Intel comes from the Chinese market. As long as the Chinese market is stable, it is easy to make huge profits. But with the implementation of the US chip rules, everything has changed. Qualcomm cannot provide 5G chips to Huawei, Nvidia's A100H100 high-end GPU chips cannot be shipped normally, and Intel has also announced that it will comply with US rules and adjust its production plan in mainland factories. The United States is trying to hinder the development of Chinese chips, so it sets various obstacles based on technological advantages. Everyone can see these. The United States is still working with the Netherlands and Japan to reach an agreement to implement export controls on lithography machines and dozens of semiconductor technologies. It seems that the United States does not sell chips, but in fact, it has to consider whether China will buy them or not. In 2022, the demand in the consumer market will be weak, and products, such as smartphones and computers will not be available for sale, leading to a sharp drop in the shipments of high-end chips by American companies. Chips with mature technology can be produced domestically. SMIC still has four 12-inch fab projects under construction. Almost all mature chips in the future will be mass-produced locally, so there is no need to rely too much on imports. Data show that in 2022, China's integrated circuit imports will decrease by 97 billion units year-on-year, year, which is about 15% lower than in 2021. Another data shows that SMIC's revenue in 2022 will reach 49.516 billion yuan, a year-on-year year increase of 39%, with a gross profit margin of 38%. Last year, 74% of SMIC's revenue came from the Chinese market. Combined with the soaring performance of SMIC, it fully demonstrates that the Chinese market has provided great support for SMIC. Even if the demand for consumer electronics declines, it has not affected SMIC's good results because SMIC has accumulated a lot in the field of mature chip manufacturing processes, and the Chinese market and SMIC have achieved each other. On the one hand, SMIC's revenue has soared, and on the other hand, the revenue of US companies has plummeted. For example, Intel's revenue in the fourth quarter of last year was 14 billion US dollars a year-on-year -year decline of 32%. It is expected to drop to 10.5 to 11.5 billion US dollars in the first quarter of this year. 
it fell by more than 37% year-on-year. This kind of performance can be said to be very poor, not only for Intel, but also for other MIC giants. Finally, the US companies couldn't bear it anymore, and the giant MIKIP began to bypass the chip ban and find ways to expand chip shipments in the Chinese market. NVIDIA has launched the A800 and H800 high-end GPU chips successively, as a substitute for the A100 and H100, by reducing the bandwidth of the chip interconnection bus to meet the US rule standards. The rest of the configuration remains unchanged. NVIDIA has launched a special version of the chip for China, which is enough to show its importance to the Chinese market. In addition, Intel also has a variety of chip processors made for China, which guarantee certain performance while reducing prices. Some foreign media said that American companies have begun to ask China to buy chips. In the past, Chinese companies took the initiative to find American companies to buy chips, and they had the final say on the price and whether they could ship them. But now it has become a buyer's market. China decides whether to buy chips from American companies or not. As long as China has the initiative, it can adjust its market layout strategy at any time. If the special version chips of American companies want to sell well in the Chinese market, they have to show their real strength, and the competitive pressure faced by American companies will be even greater. Because there will be a performance gap between the special version chip and the original chip, either the computing power is low, or the configuration is insufficient, etc. Chinese companies have layouts in the corresponding chip tracks. For GPU graphics processors, there are Jingjiawei, Byron Technology, and More Thread. For CPU, Lungsan Zhongke is actively promoting the development of Lungsan series chips. The design performance has reached the international mainstream level. I believe this is just the beginning. Chinese companies have taken more than one step. While buying chips from American companies, the Chinese market will also speed up the research and development of independent chips. While cooperating and self-researching, the two-pronged approach will help enhance the strength of the domestic chip industry chain. If the US insists on not selling chips, or even prohibits the sale of special edition chips from US companies in the future, it will only be the US that will lose. China has the world's largest chip consumption market, and domestic high-level executives specially held a forum for economic recovery, attracting the participation of Qualcomm, ASML, and other world's top semiconductor giants. As long as China keeps its market open and has sufficient economic vitality, the conspiracy of the United States to hinder China's economic development will not succeed.